and across the country, crime and gun violence are on the rise. Here in St. Louis, nearly every day we are losing our neighbors. Now, one organization has set out to be an agent of change in the loo, and it all starts with the people coming together. So here to share more is founder of Operation STL and minister at First Love Church, Eric Ross. Eric, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So we mentioned it a little bit in that intro, but why don't we just chat about who you all are and what you're really trying to do here? Man, honestly, we just, you know, with the gun violence in our city and, mm -hmm. and, and just every time we hear of someone getting shot and murdered, it's like, okay, what can we do? Mm -hmm. And uh, we just really want to bring light and, and hope into dark places and, and illuminate people with, you know, just the hope that we have in Jesus and, and really just the hope that we've all had transformed lives. Like I went to prison for a conspiracy to distribute cocaine. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that are involved in and that have been in and out of prison. So mm -hmm. we just use these real testimonies of real people who have had life changing experiences. Mm -hmm. to bring hope to people who still need the change to happen yeah. in their life. You yeah, know? And, and showing that I found this truth and this light and that you can find it too. Even in, in, in what you mentioned is the darkness. So a lot of what you do is kind of gathering the people together. Yes. So I know that this weekend you have an event coming up. Yeah, this weekend we're doing Forgive STL. And okay. it's, uh, it's going to be at the corner of Kosuth and Grand at Fairgrounds Park, which is mm -hmm. like right along, it faces the murder mile in our city. And right mm -hmm. there at that corner, there's a lot of murders that happen at the corner. So we're just going to come out there and just be a light in the dark and just bring hope and, and just have fun. And, and we're bringing a lot of churches together. It's also a unity movement. And we're yeah. trying to empower the local churches and provide a platform for them that they might not be able to provide for themselves and bring resources and finances mm -hmm. and people together to help them do bigger events for themselves. So our, our goal and our mission really is to introduce the people to their local pastors that mm. can can water with the seeds that we're planting. And connect them and even power in connecting those churches together. Yeah. Right. We're all here wanting the same thing for this community. What would you say is sort of your, your call to action? You're hoping that people are going to take away from this. Man, I just hope that uh, I just hope I stir everyone up to yeah. look. We can do this if if we all come together, if we work together. Mm -hmm. Look at what we're able to do when we come together. If you, if you stay isolated and you're just worried about building your church and your ministry, mm -hmm. you're only gonna be able to do so much. Yeah, but when we all course. come together, we can reach the whole city. You yes. know, and so it's it's gonna it's just amazing, and, and God's really blessing it. Of course, so. and there's a lot of power in those stories too, right? Even you sharing your own story, a brief part of it this morning, and the stories that are gonna be shared at this event. Oh yeah, hopefully can cause. A lot of change as well. Amen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll have all that information. Forgive STL again. It's going to be May 20th, but you're going to want to check out their website because they also have lots of different resources and events that are coming up in the future as well. Thank you again, Eric, for inspiring us this morning. Thank you. And we'll be right back.